All right, everybody. Welcome back to more Fire Emblem Six. So, last time at the end of stream, of the, 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 bleh, at the end of the last stream in Chapter Five, we had Clarine die from a teleporting brigand, which really sucks. So, off screen, I have replayed the entire chapter, and now all the enemies are dead, and Clarine is still alive. The things I do for you, Clarine. My level ups weren't quite as good replaying, which is a bit of a shame. However, Deke got a very good level up for killing the boss, so that's very nice. Also, I can't remember... Yes, I did turn combat animation back on. Cool, cool. Wonderful. Another thing that I did is I sat a bunch of people next to each other to grind supports, and Chad can support Lou, so we're gonna get that. Chad! There you are! Something smells good. Here you go. That's your share. Hey, baked tarts! Where'd you get these? The meal delivery man gave me some extra ones. The meal delivery man? Is this like the pizza guy? <laughs> man, they look good. Can I really have them? Of course. Yes! Man, these are good. Ha <laughs> ha! What? Oh, sorry. It's just that you always look really happy when you're eating. I do? Yeah! I think that's one of the best things about you. What the? I'm not gonna give you anything even if you praise me. I I'll be going now. Thanks for the food. Haha. <laughs> It's nothing to be embarrassed about. People eating tarts. A amazing support. Hey Proxima, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Just in time for us to finish the chapter. Alright, I think I've... I th there's a cap on the amount of support points you can get in every chapter, so I think I've already reached the cap, so we're just gonna have Roy conquer the throne. <laughs> um, is the, is the volume balance okay? Yeah, yeah, the volume balance should be fine. It's quieter on my... here. I'm like, the music's very quiet for me, but that's because I turned it down during the multi-world stream on, uh, Friday. Master Roy, some priest from the Elamine Church is here looking for you, and Princess Guinevere! He knew that Princess Guinevere was with us? Yes, I wonder how. Oh, I bet it's Father Saul. I don't know either. Anyway, I'll go talk to him by myself. Roy, I will be fine. I also wish to meet this priest. Princess? The relationship between my brother and the Elamine Church has been becoming bitter lately. I do not believe that the church would be hostile to us. I see. Well, then, Merlinus, let the priest pass. Yep, it's Father Saul. Master Roy, it is a pleasure to meet you at last. I am Saul, a priest of the Alamine Church. Nice to meet you. And also... Oh, you must be Princess Guinevere. You are so beautiful, as the rumors tell. <laughs> Your Highness, I wish to know the location of the Fire Emblem. You have it with you, do you not? Why the heck do you want to know, Saul? How did you know? The head church in Bern informed us that the Fire Emblem had mysteriously disappeared from the Temple of Seals. They also informed me that you left at exactly the same time. I was sent by the church to confirm the truth. Why did you take the Fire Emblem? I wish to stop my brother. Your brother? Cephiel, the King of Bern. Yes. Do you know what the Fire Emblem is used for? It, you can sell it for money. The Fire Emblem is a key that awakens the sword that was used to slay the mighty dragons in the past. Oh, that's not what Fire Emblem 7 says. In Fire Emblem 7, the Fire Emblem is just a jewel. Does it also double as a key? Or that is what my father told me. But I'm unsure about how exactly the Fire Emblem or the sword work. However, the possibility of the Fire Emblem falling into enemy hands seemed to worry my brother. A lot. KINGDOM HEARTS! <laughs> so you took the Fire Emblem, hoping that to make your brother believe it fell into enemy hands, so that he would stop his conquest? Yes, but war broke out anyway. As a representative of the Elamine Church, I wish to ask you this. What do you plan to do from here? Must I answer at this moment? Ah, so your highness has a plan. Yes, I have not given up hope of settling this war without bloodshed. It's too late for that, Guinevere! Do, have you seen how many people we've killed already? <laughs> I see. In that case, please allow me to accompany your journey. I apologize, Roy. Alright, now we can move on to the actual first chapter of the stream, Chapter 6. TRAPS! Oh, Fred loves this chapter. After taking Saul, a priest of the Elmine Church, and Dorothy, uh, we didn't meet Dorothy, but I guess she's here anyways, his bodyguard into their ranks, Roy and company crossed the mountains and entered the 
Thuria lands, located to the southeast of Ostia. What? This is not in Fire Emblem 7. Thuria is a land governed by Lord Orin, a half-brother to Lord Hector. What? This is not a thing! <laughs> Orin's home and castle seem to be a safe place to stay for Roy. Marty, she's homely. That's, that's a nicer way of putting it. <laughs> You know what? I'm kind of glad that we have some normal-looking characters in this and not just like, wow, everybody is a supermodel. <laughs> However, Burn had its reach in the lands of Thria as well. You know, it would have been more fitting if Thria was the third chapter of the game. Oh my gosh, do we actually have battle preparations? We have battle preparations at last, and we can't take everybody. Oh, cool. So we choose six people we're not taking. All right, Wolf is benched. Merlinus is benched. Um, Marcus is benched. I'm definitely taking Deacon, Chad, and Thaney. I want Rootger. Um, do we ditch Ellen? We don't need Ellen for this chapter, because I think Saul automatically joins us as well. I kind of still want to keep using Ward and Lot just to see which one of them is going to take the cake. We don't need Boars. Boars is a bit of a bore. We'll take Clarine, just so she can build support points with Rootger. And hey, having two healers on a level is not a bad thing. I could take Lou as well, because he's my only offensive magic user. Let me see what the map is like. Alright, so we got some sword users. We got a couple of armor knights, but they should go down pretty quickly from Ward and late Wait, Ward and Lot. Yeah, we shouldn't need Lou, and it's not like I'm using him anyways. We can trade, though. This will be nice. Okay, Lance. Hmm... Oh boy, someone needs that Steel Blade. Here, Chlorine, take another Heal Staff. Thaney ain't using it. Take the ever Slim Lance Thaney, that's just fine. Um, Deke's Constitution of Free means he's the only one who can really use that Steel Blade, so... We'll give it to him. Alan, you can take Wolt's vulneraries. He ain't using them anymore. Oh yeah, the Gant Lance! Who's using the Gant Lance? Lance. We definitely gotta use Gant's Lance. That is a lot of horse units, but you know what? Horse units are great. They got good movement and multiple weapons. Um, yeah, that should be fine. I don't really need a massive formation. We'll save our battle preps in case we have to re reset fiends, and we'll play the chapter. Chapter 6. <laughs> Traps. It's a trap! Alright, here we are. Oh yeah, this, this chick. Well, sneaking in here was fine, but there's nothing worth stealing! Hmm, the room to the north seems to have treasure, but the security's so tight. Are those footsteps? Oh, this guy looks so friendly and nice. He's definitely a good guy. I trust everything is under control. Yes, our soldiers are stationed all around this area. Lead them into the castle and ambush them, just as we did with Lord Orin. Uh, yes, sir. I want Princess Guinevere alive. The rest you can do with as you wish. Now go. <laughs> the Silver Wolf's granddaughter and now Princess Guinevere. If we have this much to offer, Burn will be sure to allow us on their side. How much of this game have I played? I've played up to chapter 9 or 10. It was like a rocky chapter with like 100 villages to visit and brigands everywhere, and I just could not get to all the villages in time, and it was super annoying. And I'm just like, this is not fun, and rage quit. Hmm, now this is getting interesting. I've also forgotten a good amount of the game. <laughs> well, for once we can get a good night's rest, Mr. Master Roy. I wonder. That man said he was Lord Orin's advisor, but he... <laughs> Wagner? Does he bother you in any way? He seemed to be in control of everything, as if he owned the place. And we can't even go near Lord Orin because he's ill? Something seems wrong. No, that guy looks very friendly. I'm sure he just stepped in red paint, which is why he looks like an enemy unit. Hmm, come to think of it, you do have a point, Master Roy. Excuse me, Master Roy. There seems to be an awful lot of soldiers patrolling the area. I think we're being spied on. What? No. You noticed? Impressive. 
Show yourself, intruder! Hi! And who might you be? Aw, we can talk about me later. You know, I was overhearing that Wagner guy's conversation in the main hall... Ha wait, did she say the main, main hall? And they said they're going to ambush you guys. Lord Orin would never do that! Oh yeah, that person's dead. The Dark Magician assassinated him or something. What?! And he's going to capture you guys and turn you into burns so that they, you can uh, they can join up with them. Hold it, Master Roy! Don't trust people like this so easily! <laughs> Lorenz mi mixed with Sylvain. Um, who are you talking about? <laughs> Which character? Oh, probably Saul. <laughs> yeah. You can believe me or not, it's up to you. But don't come crying to me when you find yourselves in trouble. Roy, if what she says is true... Let's set up a trap. We'll pretend like we're leaving. If Wagner is after us, he'll do something to persuade us to stay. If you're gonna go outside, use the room in the north. That room leads to the courtyard. So you'll be out of here in no time. Good luck! Oh, Master Roy, where are you going? We will escort you into the castle, so please come this way. My apologies, sir, but I've just received a report of a matter of importance. Excuse us, but we must be going now. Oh! But I surely cannot see you off without paying my respects and offering you a place to stay. Lord Orn would never forgive me for that. Please, Master Roy, will you not just spend one night here with us? I totally promise nothing bad will happen to you. Do not worry. I shall tell Lord Orin myself that you are not to blame. I ought to pay my respects to him anyway. Please show us to his room. Like I said, Master Roy, Lord Orin is ill and cannot see you. I'm sorry, sir, but if we cannot see him, then we have no reason to stay here. We are in a hurry. Excuse us, but we must be off. You are leaving, no matter what? Then I have no choice but to kill you now! Everyone attack! Kill them all, but leave Princess Guinevere alive! So they were after us! Master Roy, even if we escape this way, we'll just be attacked from behind! Then we'll take over this castle! Everyone follow me! Then, I, I'm pretty sure we can just make a strategic retreat, but okay, fine. Oh boy, three of soldiers. They got swords. There's not a lot of people here, but that's a lot of locked rooms. Okay. Alright, well, Lance to the rescue! And Alan to the rescue. Actually, I probably shouldn't have sent one of my Lances. No, I got Thaney. We're good. Thaney is A-OK. -okay. Alright, we got a lot of Lance users and some Magic users up there. The Magic users worry me somewhat. But that's OK. With Ward and Lot, I'm sure we'll do OK. Oh, hey, Dorfy. Let's see what your stats are. 5 Strength, 6 Skill, 6 Speed, 3 Luck, 4 Defense, 2 Resistance. Man, Archers just don't have very good bases, do they? She starts with a Steel Bow. Girl from Etruria serving the Elamine Church. Well, she's better than Wolt. But that's a very low bar to go over. And then we've got Saul. He's a level 5. 10 speed to start with. That's pretty good. Man, he's... Low magic is the name of the game for all of these healers, though. That's kind of annoying. But he comes with a men's staff, so that's pretty nice. Alright, let's make sure we turn on battle animations for our girl, Dorothy. Saul, you... We don't need to see his battle animations. That's fine. Alright. Rutger, you can go there. Roy, you can stay alongside him. Deke, you're going to be needing uh, backup for Thaney, so you can go that way. We also need to start unlocking these doors one by one. So, Chad, you can start this way and go kind of clockwise. Clarine, you can keep staying next to Rutger. We'll have Dorfy be some backup over here, and then we'll send uh, Saul this way. Oh, yeah, her! All this noise. A battle... What is going on outside? Oh no! They're approaching us! Oh yeah, that guy can reach Chad now. Whoops. That's okay. This will give Saul something to do. Plus, hey, Chad needs experience points, too. Nice dodge, Thaney. My gosh, her damage output is so bad! I probably should have given her an Iron Lance, but then she loses, like, all her speed. Okay. Alright. I don't like that 3% crit on Dorothy at all, but 
maybe we can work with this. Oh wait, never mind. Roy is good enough to one round of this, uh, the mage. Nice job, Roy. Ouch. Hey, guess what, Roy's... Oh yeah, Roy did level strength last chapter when I replayed it, so that's why. Cool. All right, Rooker, take out the other guy. Oh man, Rooker only just barely one rounds this guy. Oh yeah. And then Ward and Lot can go up and take on these soldiers. Oh man, you know you're bad when even Ward doubles you. That's like getting doubled by Bart Ray in the early chapters. Still don't know if I'm going to use Ward or Lot long term, but I'm using them at least in the short term. Nice dodge. Ugh. Take that, Mr. Soldier. All right, Lot. Bevel up. Bevel up. Not great, but you know what? Hey, strength level up is always pretty nice. All right. Doggone, Dorothy. That hit rate is bad. She has the, basically the exact same palette as Rebecca, but she has brown hair instead of green. There you go. Nice job, Deke. All right, Thaney. Um, how many guys are up here? Oh, okay, there's only two soldiers. All right, if she takes... She can't take free hits. She's not going to get hit three times. Yeah. There ain't no way Thaney's getting hit three times of a 27. All right, Thaney, please level strength. Thaney! I want to use you, but doggone it, if you never level strength even once, I can't. This is not okay. All right. Um, uh, Clarine Heal Rooker. See, here's the thing. Florina's tough to use, but at least Florina has a 50% strength growth. Thaney seems to have a 1% strength growth. Not a fan. All right. Alan, finish him. Thank you. Ah, the Christmas calves are nice to use. All right, Lance... You got a javelin. I'll, I'll take out the guy with the steel lance. He's a much bigger threat. And I can use Gant's lance later. Dog! Lance! That's not okay. Alright. Well, I need to make sure I keep Chad out of harm's way, at least of the steel lance guy, so... Alright, Mr. Javelin guy can attack a bunch of people. I'll put Chad right there, so that way he can't... That guy can't throw the lance at Chlorine, and then Saul, you can heal up Chad. Yeah, my understanding is Fire Emblem 7 is way better growth rates all around than Fire Emblem 6. <laughs> Alright, these guys have very really good defense. But you're still not going to be able to survive <laughs> Ward and Lot. <laughs> Marty, are you still rooting for me to use Ward instead of Lot? <laughs> He has gotten some great level ups, but... Oh, shoot. Lance. Lance, if you die to this javelin, I will be resetting. Oh, yeah. I'm really... I do not get why they removed the weapon triangle from Free Houses. That was a weird decision for them to make. It's like, why even have different types of weapons if they don't do different things? Gotta dodge this. Thank you, Lance. Good lord, if he, if he failed to dodge three 37s, that would be so dumb. But good, the, the day is saved. Lance is still alive. Okay, before we forget, let's just top off Lance. Alright, Alan can almost certainly one-round him. Yeah, Alan's a powerhouse. Oh, yep. Eat it. I mean, yeah, that's true. Thaney is carrying a lance that's larger than she is. But still, I expect a little something better. 
All right, Dorfy, how do you fare against Javelin Man? You can one-round him, but you're going to take a powerful hit in return. So I think... Uh, close, but no cigar, Thaney. What if you use a Javelin? Oh, okay, yeah. You can use a Javelin, and if you miss one of these, Dorfy can finish the job. I don't plan on using Dorfy, but hey, why not? At the very least, Thaney, the fact that you can rescue people is pretty nice. Alright. Oh, you have a javelin too? Well, sure. Alright, nice job, Dorothy. I know that's a soldier and they're really easy to kill, but still. That was a nice job. I don't... No, I don't particularly want to use Dorothy, no. I don't generally like the archer units. Like, ever. All right, let's open up this door. What do we have? Oh boy, a staircase for reinforcements. And if I know this game, they're going to be throwing ambush spawns at me. I hope they don't, but I have a feeling they will. All right, ward. Oh yeah, finish him with an axe. Ugh. I wonder if this will be like Fire Emblem 7, where like 90% of the enemies become lance users. Oh wait, hammer. Uh, nah, Iron Axe is more reliable. Nice job, Lot. Let's save the hammer, because I don't know if we'll get another one, and the hammer is incredibly good against bosses. Speaking of bosses, we haven't taken a look at Wagner yet. He's a level 9 shaman. A traitor who betrayed the Marquis of Thria. I don't know how anybody could have seen that coming. He looks like such a trustworthy fellow. Uh, 10 speed on a boss is pretty good. And the fact that he's a magic user means that, well, actually, hang on, how much defense do you have? Four defense. You know what? This might be a job for Thaney. She can deal four damage to him with the Slim Lance. <laughs> it's not great, but it's it's a living. All right, you guys have javelins. All right, Rutger, how do you fare? You can't quite one round. Also, we gotta keep watch out for that mage. Roy, how do you... Again, Roy also does not quite one round. I think I'm going to attack one of them with Rutger and have Roy finish the job. Yeah, this seems like a good idea. Oh, nice, nice epic doge, Rutger. Yeah, and then we have Roy finish the job. Good one. Oh boy, Roy level up. Brace yourselves. Alright, you know, he keeps getting speed, which I like that he keeps getting speed. I just wish he got strength a little bit more, but, you know, Roy's fine for now. He's not anything special, but he's fine. I am, do not trust that staircase. I have a feeling that someone's going to pop up there and move immediately, so we're going to just do that. Build up those Deacon Thaney support points. Oh man, nice dodge, Roy. Alright. Oh, doggone it. Alan's standing right in front of the door. So I have to move him if I want Chad to unlock it. Oh, cool! Treasure! Oh, that's just fantastic. We'll move Lance up here. There's nothing for Saul to do. Clarine's gonna heal up Ward. We can use someone... Uh, who has the hand axe? That's Lot. You have the hand axe. Oh, hang on. I could attack with the hand axe there, but I'm going to just use the hand axe to draw out that guy. Just double-checking. Magic Man cannot reach. Okay, good. Okay. I think Rutger can finish the job without using the Killing Edge. Oh, yeah. No problem. And all these dodges, I'm liking this. Alright, this, this chapter seems pretty okay. I'm just waiting for me to open up a door, though, and to have, like, ten enemies inside. That's gonna really suck if that happens. We'll move Ward up to so he's in support range of Lot. 
Fainy's gonna need some healing before we start opening those doors. I also should have brought some door keys. I at least have one door key that I should have brought. Oh well. Saul, you're gonna go out and meet uh, Fainy. All right. Let's unlock the door. Oh hey, it's Sue, the granddaughter of Dion, the Silver Wolf. She's a nomad. Cool. All right, those are decent bases. She's a level one unit, so that's actually pretty decent. I wish she had more than five con, but that's okay. You know, she actually might be pretty decent because bows deal triple effective damage against flyers and she's got good movement and she can use swords upon promotion. So maybe I'll end up using Sue. Also, she looks like she's related to Raph somehow. So that's pretty cool. Um, Sue doesn't have a weapon. I also did... Mm. Oh, hey, that guy's not moving. If I move up here, are all the guys going to move? I hope not, but... Well, here goes nothing. Okay, seriously. What's the score? Wade, you've got to hit this. Wade, reward. Um, if all of these guys start moving now, we're we're kind of toast. How much resistance does Chlorine have? Five. These guys have a lot. Mm, uh. Let's see. Eleven minus two, seven. And nine. Okay, that guy can't reach ward, but those two guys can. I don't like that. You know what, though? If they die, then they die. And we live with that mistake forever. And it would absolutely be in character for Fire Emblem 6 to be like, oh, they don't move, but then if you start attacking them, everything moves. I really hope that's not the case, though. Um, maybe if I can lure them out with someone like... I want to lure, like, one of them out with Clarine, because I think if that guy moves... I just don't want to put Clarine in range of everything, because she has four res, five res. So that guy will deal 6 damage. That guy will deal 4 damage. Oh, actually, she'll survive! And the other guy can't attack her. Okay, cool. I'm going to heal up Ward. If... Now, I'm not sure if they will go for Clarine, because she can't counter and she's a healer, or if they'll go for a lot because he's damaged and they could potentially kill him if they all gain up. Not a favorable outcome regardless, but this is my best chance of survival. All right. We're also bringing in uh, Lance and Alan in for backup. Ooh, they're tr they're at each other's throats now. Suppose I'll take what I can while I can. Oh, oh, look! Wow! Not even just one at a time. You get four reinforcements at a time, and they all move immediately. Okay, they're going for a lot. This is not good. Lot, you need to dodge one of these next two attacks. Not both, but you need to dodge one of them. If they move. They do. Alright, that's the more accurate one. Lot, please dodge. Oh wait, never mind, he lives! And he dodged anyways! Oh, Lot, what a champ! What a champ! Oh, we're using Lot. <laughs> also, Calf spawned in the wall. Yeah, so this is Calf. A young thief who st only steals from the rich. So she's female Robin Hood, basically. Not very good stats, but she's got a high speed, I, I guess. But she's a level 5, and Chad's better. Um, I don't think she'll attack me, but I do think she'll start opening up all these doors. Also, um, wow, they literally had four enemies spawn out of this. Move away from this, and then move again. That That's completely unfair. All right, well, we got to get Sue out of here with all of those reinforcements coming. 
Chad, I'm not opening that door, because that's going to be more than I can handle for now. Alright, let's squash these guys. Alright, Rootger Crush. Don't crit. Ugh, thunder scares me with those low percent crits. Hey, Mobius! Welcome! She steals from the poor and gives to the rich. No, no that's the other way around. <laughs> Alright, Ruger. You, you seem like Guy. You're not leveling strength at all. Alright, Ward, how do you fare against this guy? Alright, duck on it. He needs one extra strength, but that stupid Steel Axe has way lower accuracy. Just let Roy do it. Now we just gotta make sure... I know the boss won't move. I just need to make sure that those armor knights, if they move, won't be able to reach Roy, because they will rip him to shreds. Okay, that guy can. Oh, they both can. Great. <laughs> Alright, Lot, you need to strategically retreat. Um, Lance, you're going to rescue Roy. Pull him away. Clarine, you are going to heal up Lot. Have I played any 3D strategy games like this? Most turn-based strategy games I'm not a huge fan of. I like Fire Emblem, and I like Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. The second of those I actually plan on streaming eventually, but that's a much longer game than Fire Emblem 6. Alright, well, let's get these guys away from Calf and, Kate and the reinforcements. I also definitely want Roy to be out next turn, so that way he can talk to Sue. Ah! What the heck? Oh, that's why they were saying we can't just leave. This chapter's getting scary real fast. Oh no, not Dorfy. Actually, Dwarfy shrugged off that fire like it was nothing. Oh no, Calf is going on this side and opening the doors. Great. Alright. Who is it? What? What's a girl doing here? You aren't a person from the castle? Who are you? Oh, my name is Roy. I am Sue. Are you causing the noise outside? Noise? The noise of a battle. Oh, yes. We're fighting Denzians of the castle. It's a long story. I see. Then I am on your side. This castle's residents are my enemies as well. What? What do you mean? Please give me a bow. I will fight alongside you. I don't have a bow with me, so you're just gonna have to be a rescue bot. <laughs> Great. That's... Actually, that's... Armor Knight's staying behind, but... Okay, we need to get away from these. Well, oh, yeah, there's... I can't take them all on with Deke. That's suicide. However, Rutger and Deke can potentially make a little bit of a duo. Maybe Ward for backup as well. Alright. We'll get Deke back, like, here. Guard people. Gotta make sure Thaney is out of range of that bow. Rutger is getting low on HP. Who has a vulnerary? Sue does, but I... Mm. Okay, change of plans. We're going to use Ward instead. Because Ward is tip-top shape. Alright, Lance. Let's start taking these guys on one at a time. Let's take out that Steel Bow Archer. That's going to be a bit of annoying. Good choice. Alright. Lot, now you are all well and good. You can start taking on these javelin soldiers. Easy peasy limb squeezy. I do not like these ambush spawns that are a plentiful in this game. Hey, he got defense! Good. I like defense on my units. If I do this... Okay, two hits from Mr. Iron Lance, bro, will be enough to kill, but nobody else can reach Chad, and then he can start opening up those treasure chests, so I think I'll do that. 
Rutger will continue to build support points with Clarine, and Sue, you're gonna just be hanging out around, let's see, make sure you're out of range of the soldier, yep. You're just gonna hang around to be an emergency rescue machine. Oh, pff, what a dodge. Oh, what a pal, what a friend. What a Chad. All right, oh, please, you're approaching Ward? Do you even realize what it is you do? He'll make sure his axe is the last thing you see. All right, Ward level up! Ward level up! Boo! <laughs> That's like the worst stat to get just as a solo level up. I actually might take an extra one point of HP or one point of skill. Wow, even with all these characters Oh my gosh, he dodges the 85. Even then, you still can't beat him. Alright, what's in that room? Another room filled with reinforcements. I should probably go over to this side and make sure that she don't steal all the treasure. Fainy. I believe I need to talk to her with Roy. And then she stops. I believe. Alright, Alan's over there. Who needs a level up? Alan, uh, Alan and Lance both need level ups. Alright. Here we go. Alright, Lance. Come on. Oh, that's a really good level up. Nice one, Lance. Oh, doggone it. Chad's just out of reach of those treasure chests. Oh, I'm, a, I'm running out of Iron Axe uses for a lot. That's a bit disconcerting. Heal up Ward. Dorothy, you can pick this guy off. I guess I should see what at least Dorothy's first level up would be like before I just decide that she's trash because she's an archer. Uh, yeah, I want to get rid of that guy. Oh, critical hits are beautiful. I don't want to hoard my killing edge. I just want to save it for the right situations. That is a right situation. Um, are there more reinforcements? No, there's not. All right. Ward, go down there. Take out Mr. Javelin. See, I knew it was a good idea to bring two healers to this map. Honestly, three healers wouldn't necessarily have been a bad choice. Aw, oh, yeah. Weapon level increase. You don't have anything to get silver. Oh, well, you have a steel lance. But it's Deke we're talking about. He's got a high amount of defense. Or at least a respectable amount of defense. Goodbye. All right, Deke. Oh, what a beautiful level up. That's great. All right, who needs healing the most? Oh, I still need to heal Rutger. But boy, Rutger's in danger. There, take me home, country roads. We'll make sure Alan's down here as backup. Get out of support built with Lance. Yeah, I knew he was gonna attack Ruger. You fool. He has a killing edge. What are you doing? <laughs> but I thought I could do 14 damage. He has a killing edge! Do not attack him! <laughs> Hey, Sadie! Thank you so much for the raid! Welcome, everybody! How are y'all doing? We're just doing some Fire Emblem 6. Uh, the chapter could be going better, but it also could be going worse. Oh, no. She's gonna take one of these uh, treasures. Uh, she has four, 11 speed. How much speed does Chad have? 13! I can steal from Calf! Yes! Okay, that's gonna be... We're gonna trap Calf in the room, and then we're gonna get... <laughs> then we're gonna get 
uh, Chad over there and steal from her. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> but first, Chad has to unlock these treasure chests. Ooh, 5,000 gold. Very nice. So, welcome, raiders. Not sure how you guys found my channel, but I'm so glad to have you. Welcome, welcome. All right. Thaney, just drop Roya. Do not attack Calf. I'm pretty sure that enemy thieves don't attack, and I don't think Calf's going to attack Roy. Otherwise, if Calf attacks Roy, she actually might kill him. Actually, wait, hang on. Oh, no. She has, she has eight attack. Roy has five. Never mind. If she kills me, it's going to be very slow. And I'll keep Sue around to rescue him if need be. All right. We just got to trap her in that room. That's all we really have to do. You were doing a Project Ember Iron Man, which is a rework. I've heard of Project Ember. It looks really cool. I, I just wanted to play the, the real deal before playing Project Ember. That's really cool. How's that going? <laughs> I have I tried Iron Man streams of Hector Hard Mode, and I probably shouldn't be doing that if I've never beaten Hector Hard Mode before. I got my butt kicked. It was fun, though. I'm doing, like... I'm not really doing an Iron Man because I've already reset twice, but I'm trying to live with the consequences of my actions unless something really catastrophic happens. So that's that's kind of where I'm at. All right, we'll build the Rutger, Chlorine, and Deke supports. Go over there. I guess Sue, you can hang out in your Dorothy. That's fine. Oh, you lost Rutger. Oh no. A Silver Lance. Oh, wait, we can't steal the Silver Lance, can we? Oh, no! Shoot. That's actually kind of a big loss. Alright, well, we'll talk to her anyways. Hey, you're... Oops. Wait! Hey, what do you think you're doing? Let go of my arm! Ow, that hurts! Oh, I'm sorry, but what are you doing here? Well, um, you know, it's complicated. I have things to do, you see. Haha. <laughs> things to do? Here? In a battlefield? Dummy, it's because this is a battlefield. Whoops, better watch my ton. Do you have some motive that we're unaware of? Oop. Wait, is this why you know the, told us the escape route? Um, what? I have no idea what you're talking about. Who are you? No, no, don't worry about such trivial things. Oh, I gotta go. Bye! Hey, wait! Oh, we don't recruit her. Oh! Um, okay. I kind of thought we would recruit her, but I guess we can still trap her in the room. Yeah, that's right. I, I've i played these chapters before a long time ago, but I haven't beaten the game before. I've made it to, like, chapter 9 or 10. So it has been a while since I've played this. I, for, I kind of forgot that Calf... You don't recruit her when you talk to her. But you still get the conversation anyways. Alright, well, she's officially trapped in the room, but she also might start stealing my vulneraries. But then if she does that, she can't open that chest. Oh, interesting. I wish we could steal that silver lance off of her, because that's actually very valuable. I could give it to my boy Lance. But alas. Alright, Clarine. Hey, you actually filled someone up! Alright, level up time. Please don't get a bad one. Well, you know, at least you got defense, I suppose. I also have no idea what's in these rooms. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of enemies in those rooms. Which I am not looking forward to. Um... Yeah, that's... Oh, I, I know what I'll do. Alan and Lance can be kind of like the rescue chain. Oh, yeah. We can, we can teleport Chad... Very high. Ah! Why? That's really bad. I freaking hate Fire Emblem Six and their stupid ambush spawns. Oh look! Archer just appeared out of nowhere. Wow, you know you're bad when Thaney doubles you with a javelin. Calf, why did you open that room? And now nobody is near this. This is extremely bad. I'm not losing Thaney. But on the other hand, if it's lose Thaney or lose Roy, how many guys do I have? Great. I think we're screwed. Because again, 
Not only did this spawn... <laughs> You see a staircase! You expect an enemy to spawn here at the end of enemy phase. No! Start of enemy phase, four enemies spawn, move off the staircase over here, and then can move again. Terrible design! Why would anyone think that's good design? Go use Dorothy as a sacrificial lamb. All right, well we got to get over here, stat. Ugh. If I put Roy in the doorway, I think he's absolutely screwed. Let's see. Yeah, 17 attack, 14 attack, 13 attack. Yeah. Unless Roy dodges all that, but he's at weapon triangle disadvantage, so I don't think that's the case. I don't want to throw Thaney away though. As, as much as she's disappointed me with her level ups. Ugh. Oh, this is tough. I think no matter what I do, I lose a unit here. I guess the question is, do, do I sacrifice Thaney and hope? Even, it, honestly, at this point, Roy's... I don't think there's any way out of this. We're literally trapped in the room. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. If we put Thaney here in the corner, pop a vulnerary. Okay, this can work. We'll put them both in the corners. This will buy us at least one extra turn. Okay, we're using Dorothy as a sacrificial lamb, basically. Give me those. I don't care if I lose Dorothy. That's fine. But I'm not losing Thaney or Roy. <laughs> Sorry, them's the breaks, folks. <laughs> Sacrifices have to be made. For the greater good. Oh yeah, and Chad's in there. Ah, Chad can stay rescued. That's fine. But I think we can get out of this. Who needs heal? Well, Dorothy's gonna need heal very fast. We'll just continue building that Ruker support. Alright! Will she live? If she dodges this next arrow, she lives! <laughs> oh wait, actually... Oh my gosh! Wait! How did everybody survive? I should... I <laughs> on this episode of I Shouldn't Be Alive... All right, Rutger. Oh wait, I should should have used his iron sword. Oh well. I can't believe everyone's getting out of this unscathed. Maybe I'm speaking too soon, but it looks like everybody's gonna be getting out of this unscathed. Oh hey, they can support. Give Lot the hand axe. Oh yeah. Oh and hey! Now that Thaney is back up to full HP, and there aren't any uh, archers anymore... We can do that. Alright, so Calf's getting away with the Solar Lance and the money. That's fine. We have plenty of money. Oh man. Deke is the man! <laughs> I hate this chapter, but it looks like we're actually doing okay for now. Wow, Sue, you, you still can't... Excuse me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, let's get Dorothy out of there. Uh, you got the Iron Lance equipped, that's wonderful. Release you there. Canto over here. Beautiful. Now that you're out of reach, we can... Oh, forgot to turn on combat animations for Sue. My bad. Sue actually might be good in the long run. Normally I don't like bow users, but they actually might be good in the long run for this stage. Alright. <laughs> Alan, join the, join the party. 
I don't like how Rutger's wasting all of his killing edge, though. Kind of want to preserve that. Whoops. <gasps> he leveled straight. Ooh, that's a good level up. He got res as well. Ah, Thaney. Do, 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 do. YouTube, please stop giving me alert notifications while I'm streaming. Wow, I can't believe we all lived through that. <laughs> what a surprise. Alright. Do, do, do. Oh, hey! Rootger needs a top off. Okay, so Chad is here. Let's open up this door. Oh, hey! A lot of enemies! I kind of thought something like this would happen. You've got a javelin, so let's take you out first. This, this core, this level loves its ambush spawns. All right, Alan, it's not a great level up, but you got speed, so that's good. Darn it, Sue, you can't one round even with a steel bow. What is, what is wrong with this picture? Oh, yeah, I love the hammer. Hammer's so good in this game. <laughs> how about, how about the, nope, can't one round that either. Gosh. You got fire, and you've got the iron lance. Let's take out Fireman. We probably shouldn't be unlocking all of these doors, but there might be treasure behind one of them. Maybe Sue will get a 1% crit. <laughs> Wow, that, that is that is literally Raph's palette just if he was a female. That's incredible. Nope, I'm not parking you right in front of that door. Not happening. Alright, we'll let Sue get away. Or not Sue, we'll let Calf get away. What what are we gonna do? Man, Wagner, you need... <laughs> I'm glad he doesn't have better units, otherwise I would be super dead. Wait, she's doing a loop around? What is this? Oh, hey! Oh my gosh, Calf, you're missing out big time. That's a lot of treasure. Also, wait a second. I opened both of these chests. I don't. I remember one of them was five thousand gold. I don't remember what the other one was. It also might have been five thousand gold, actually. All right. Well, if Calf wants to open up that door, then by all means, you can open up that door, Calf. You can do it. Okay by me. Also, I think I got the lot next. Yep. Lot and Ward. Ward, you seem to be doing well today. Of course. I'm always doing great. You better do well too, you know. You gotta make money to buy medicine for your mother. That's alright now. Huh? What do you mean? Mom, she. She didn't make it. What? Why didn't you tell me? If I told you, you'd be yelling at me to go home to Mew, right? His home is named Mew. Like the Pokemon? What do you think? Mew's all alone now. Oh, oh, not a place. It's a person. Don't you care about your own sister? But that was during a job. I couldn't pass it up. Lot? What? You're more stupid than I thought. Maybe so. Jeez, that got dark. I was expecting happy supports of people eating more tarts. Not people's mother dying while they're on a mission. 
Wagner, are you gonna, like, do anything besides just like, oh, I'll wait for him to open up all the rooms? <laughs> Alright, what do we got in here? Goddess Icon? Very, very nice. <laughs> Goddess Ico, my bad. Oh, who could use that? Who has low luck? Almost everybody. Not Roy. Roy's got good luck. Oh, Lance is fairly low luck. So does Alan. So does Saul, but that's okay. Saul deserves low luck. <laughs> I could bar... I could bar Cap's path and make her go all the way around. But I won't. I kind of want her to open up that door. I'm just going to keep close to her. So that way... Actually... Mm, no. You know what? You're taking the lone way around. <laughs> You're taking the lone way around. Take the lone way home. I bet Thaney can support with um, Lot as well. Do, 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 do. Oh, hey, who can he support? He can support Clarine. Oh, we certainly do meet a lot. You again. My name is not you. I am Clarine. I have always wanted to tell you something. It is about how you look. You actually do have quite an attractive face. Of course, it would come nowhere near my beloved brother, Klein. Okay, you're getting a little bit creepy in this territory. You're constantly describing how good-looking your brother is. It's a little weird. But you are quite impressive for a commoner. Therefore, I can use my advanced Aturian aesthetic sense and make you into a truly handsome noble. Oh, wait! Where did he go? I was not finished speaking to him, so he is just a tramp after all. He's a tramp. But they love him. I don't know. I don't know, Clarine. You seem more like the tramp type to me. I mean, what? Alright. I guess we can just keep waiting. <laughs> Sorry, Kef. Gotta take your time with this one. Oh boy, a short bow. Hey! It's a bow for Sue that's not a steel bow. I actually... I'll give that to her. Seems like a good idea. I wonder if Cap's gonna double back. Oh, actually, <laughs> let's play Rain Around the Rosie with Cap. That's probably not the name of it. Ooh, a killer axe. That's very good. Give me that short bow. You coming with me? The rescue chain! Boom! Teleported Chad all the way across the level in a single turn. And that's why people say Kanto is really good. I mean, it is pretty good, but I do think people overestimate it a bit. It's not everything, you know. <laughs> Kath, you might just want to Cut your losses, take your steel or your silver lance and get out of there. Okay, that's kind of what I thought. All right. Well. Maybe should have held off on that a little bit. Who has better survivability? You've got seven defense, you've got six defense, but a lot more speed. So I'm going to say that, yeah, lance is the more tanky one. So here we go. Oh, Alan like a boss. Wow, that was a good time to crit, to be honest. Alright. Actually, this is a good time to take out the mage. Oh, he's a thunder mage. Alright, hang on. How much damage is Lance going to take if we do this? He takes 8 damage from that. So that leaves him with 19. He takes 10 damage. That leaves him with 9. If he gets 2% crit here, we're screwed. Or if he misses a 96, we're also screwed. Okay, good job. Lance just survives. Man, Lance, what a, what a reliable guy. Thank you so much, Alan, for uh, critting there. That was so good. Let 
Meanwhile, Ward. Actually, eh. -heh. Wait, hang on. Okay, never mind. I'm like 23 HP. I gotta heal him. Nope. Man, Hand Axe has got nerfed out. <laughs> nerfed it. This game came out before Fire Emblem 7. Hand Axe has got a lot better in Fire Emblem 7. I kind of want Thaney to take on the boss once it, the time comes for that. Oh, dodging like a pro. Doom, do, 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 do. Man, why is that guy so much more powerful than the knight? And I believe that breaks my sword. Yep, so Lance is now quite literally just Lance. Is Kef making her strategic retreat? Alright, Alan, you can take on the Armor Knight. That's cool. Then we can use Gantz Lance on the uh, other soldier. Gantz Lance is going to be very nice. Oh, yep! It does just enough damage. Ugh! Let's go swimming, Worthy! <laughs> Can't quite reach the treasure chest. Ain't it sad? Does he have, do you does you have javelin do? I'm gonna leave Sue here to deal with this. Well, yeah. I don't think those guys move, but this just means we got to deal with you. I'm pretty sure we can take on... Okay, Wagner doubles Ward. If I get hit by that guy, I actually will die. So we can't allow that to happen. There's no way Wagner doubles me as well. 8% <laughs> hit rate. That is glorious. Boom! No chance against the hammer. None. I will put them next to each other, and you can equip the hand axe. Maybe you'll get a lucky shot on Wagner. Alright. Yep. Looks good. Alright. Oh, Wagner doesn't move first. That surprises me. All right, here we go. You useless vassals. Well then, I have no choice. Witness my magic and bow down before its power. <laughs> you fool, I have an 18% chance to hit. Wow, that is a slow flux animation. Calf, what are you still doing here? There's nothing left for you to do. Oh, hey. we Oh, thank goodness we got the unlock staff at the end of the chapter after unlocking everything. Truly the, the pinnacle of achievements. I also realized that if Sue attacks that guy and misses, she dead. So we got to top her off. We go up here, get ready to seize. Continue building the Alan Lance support. And how about the Thaney and Deke support? I'm sure they have support conversations together. It would be kind of a waste if they didn't. Seriously, what is Calf doing? I don't understand. Oh, look! See? That is why I did not take that chance. <laughs> Especially in this game. Oh, 
Okie dokie. Just the boss left. Should be pretty easy. Well, sorry. Just the boss and this guy left. Stop missing with a 78% chance. Come on. That's a pretty good level up, Saul. Four categories. Very nice. If you miss again, Sue, thank you. I know it's a steel bow, but come on. You don't even double the armor knight, which is just ridiculous. All right, Thaney, how do you fare against this? One day. Oh, that's right. The stupid throne grants absurd bonuses. Well, <laughs> what if it's a javelin? That's much worse. Why not? Hey, you hit him! I wonder if Roy gets special dialogue with this doofus. Wow! <laughs> Alright, Thaney, you gotta get strength, please! Thaney, get strength! I'm begging you! Please! You haven't leveled it once, and you're terrible without strength! Well, he doesn't kill Roy, so... Yeah, I'll see if there's special dialogue for this. Nope. Alan. Nope, not attack. Rescue, get him out of there. All right, we, it might be time for Mr. Rootger. Or Deke. One or the other. Oh, that's right. Wagner's just going to heal the HP back. Dog on it. Thaney now has a higher hit rate, which is nice. You go, Thaney. Just, just keep it up, girl. <laughs> Getting experience every time. So. Oh, hey, weapon level increase. Oh, I think she's heading for the stairs at the top. That actually would make a lot of sense. Mm, that's that's actually possible. I've, I've been wondering where the heck Calf is going, but I bet you she's running for the stairs because that's how she despawns off the map. I just thought she would run down here to despawn. Poss, welcome! Can't stay, but... Oh, okay, that's fine. Thank you very much. Yep, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Well, this level was kind of a butt, but... I'm enjoying it on the whole. Alright, let's do this, and Rootger will probably... Ooh, yeah, that's... Oh my gosh, she doesn't even die in... This is great. Oh man, this boss music is so good. Man, that chlorine support. Yeah, definitely... Boss, thanks so much for the 100 bits. I appreciate it. Good luck for Chapter 7. Oh, I forget what Chapter 7 is, but... Alright, I will happily take the good luck. Thank you, my man. Alright. Hey, Ward, how do you fare? Terribly, that's right. You get doubled. Ugh. Yeah, my, ac my Axe Boys got too low of a hit rate for this. How about my man Deke? Nope. Rats. <laughs> yeah, the thrones don't... Do they get 30 avoid in this or 40 avoid? 30 avoid. But they also give free defense, free reds, and heal you every turn, which is just ludicrous. Alright, Thaney, keep chip chipping away. <laughs> yeah, Rutger definitely seems like he's your best for defeating the bosses. Dane, Thaney, considering you only have like a 49% chance to hit, you've been hitting almost every time. I love it. This is probably... Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Staying away from that. All right, Wagner. Who, who are you going to attack? Probably Thaney, I would imagine. Yeah, that makes sense. Weow.
Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, yeah. There there goes Calf. Well, doggone, she stole my Silver Lance, but that's okay. If I put this here, Rooker should still be in get the, the support range. Poss, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. All right, Rooker. I don't want to use more of your Killing Edge, so you haven't taken damage yet. <laughs> Have a good one, too, Poss. Hope to see you again sometime. Ah, oh, what a boss, Rooker. No, oh, my plan was flawless. <laughs> so perish all traitors. Alright, nice job. Now we can just kind of top off everyone's HP, build some support points, and we can end the chapter. I'm not using Saw, but I might use Clarine at this point. So, we'll have Clarine do some of the healing. Do do do. I don't care about turn count at all. <laughs> it's free AM where you live. Please get some sleep. Don't stay up for my account. Alright. Yeah, that's fine. I've, we've been at this chapter long, but let's just conquer get out of here. So you're the granddaughter of the leader of one of the clans in Sakai. Grandpa's the strongest warrior in Sakai. People call him the Silver Wolf. The Silver Wolf. I have heard of him. But what are you doing in Lycia? Sakai is to the east. Burn invaded Sakai, so we of the Kutalo clan... Oh yeah, that's the one that Raph's from! So she's part of the same clan as Raph. We of the Kutala clan have decided to fight. So Grandpa let the women and children escape to Lysia, but... But? There was a traitor. The Jute clan, who have turned to Burn's side, ambushed us. We were all separated. I found my way into these lands, and I was rescued by Lord Orin. But his advisor, Wagner, assassinated Lord Orin and took over the castle. And then you were captured. Is your army fighting Burn? Yes, Burn has invaded our lands as well. Then let me go with you. Fighting Burn will let me rescue Grandpa. I also want to avenge Lord Orin. We're headed for Ostia. It's in the opposite direction as Sakai, so is this okay with you? I don't mind. No matter where we are, neither our mother of the earth nor our father of the sky will ever disappear. Master Roy, the spy I sent to Ostia has just returned and he says that Ostia is in a state of chaos. What? There's been a rebellion among those who want to surrender to Burn. Is Lelina safe? The spy says that she has been taken as a hostage. Currently, the rebel group has taken over Castle Ostia and are fighting the soldiers who wish to retake the castle and Lady Lelina. We must hurry to Ostia! Lelina, please be safe. Yes, we need to save Lelina. Alright, Chapter 7, Rebellion at Ostia. Alright, we can continue. We'll try another chapter. Hearing of the rebellion, Roy hurried his pace towards Ostia. According to the information he had gathered on the way, General Legence... Legions? Legants? Legions. <laughs> One of Lord Hector's advisors had started a rebellion with Lieutenant Devious. <laughs> That's his name? Devious? They are not subtle at all. <laughs> to sell Ostia to burn. Lelina had been captured and taken hostage by Legions. She was then imprisoned inside Castle Ostia because Legions thought that he could use her for something later on. Hearing that report, Roy and company entered Ostia in an effort to rescue Lelina. Ostia, the largest and most active city in Lycia, was to become a battlefield, stained with blood. Oh, that's right. I vaguely remember this chapter. Okay, who are we gonna pick? Um, not Walt. Definitely not Walt. I do like Sue. I should take Ellen or Saul. I'm gonna take Ellen. I like Ellen. Uh, uh b b sorry, Boris. But you bore me. <laughs> that should be good. Oh, wait. I don't really want Marcus, though. Um, what enemies do we have on this level? If we have a lot of armor knights, we kind of do. Hey, Devious. Oh, he has a spear. So soon, too. But he has one res. Nah, Lou will get slaughtered by him if he tries to attack. Maybe Boars? I'm not gonna use Boars, though. I... I'll take Marcus kind of... No. 
I don't want I don't want to use Marcus. I'll take Boars. Thought about taking Marcus as like a get out of jail free card, but all right. Give your mend to Clarine, Saul. You have served your purpose. Wolt, you're going to give your iron bow to Sue, so she has another weapon. Oh, who gets the goddess icon? I don't want to hoard it. All right, so out of these, not Roy. He's got nine luck. Alan and Lance are both definitely good cho uh, choices. I think I'm going to give the goddess icon to Lance. Because I'm definitely using Lance. And, uh... He could definitely use it. So thank you, thank you for that. I will give Clarine the unlock staff. Not that it'll really matter. Also, it's a good thing there are armories on this level, because I definitely need to buy some equipment. Alright. Let's play! Alright. Joink! Chapter 7, Rebellion at Ostia. Uh-oh, a general. Devious, how is the city doing? They've been quiet so far, sir. But the mercenary knights Familia that Hector hired are showing no submission. <laughs> What's with them? We're telling them we'll pay more! Well, Ilya's mercenary knights are known to never betray their masters. You fool! I know that! General Narshin is going to arrive soon! If we don't have Ostia under our control by then, he'll laugh at us! Of course, sir. We may have to use Lilina to bargain with the mercenary knights. If we use her as a hostage, they should surrender to us. But that must be as a last resort. We will fight them ourselves with the help of the dragon knights sent from Burn to crush Ilya's fortress. Oh, we got Wyvern Riders. Devious, I want you to clear out the town and guard the castle gate. I will defend the inside of our castle. Yes, sir! Oh, thank goodness. Legions will be much more difficult. Merlinus, around how many of Ostia's troops have joined the rebellion? Quite a few, I'm afraid. They have forgotten their loyalty towards Lord Hector, and we are simply flocking towards the one with more power, which is Bird. How disgraceful! I see. But there is good news too, Master Roy. There's a band of mercenary knights from Ilya that are willing to join forces with us and attack the rebels. Mercenary knights from Ilya. Yes. They said that they signed a contract with Lord Hector that they would fight Burn alongside Ostia's troops. That's fortunate. But when the mercenary knights hear the news that Lord Hector has passed away, that contract would probably be broken. Do you think it's possible for us to officially hire them into our service? I would have thought so too, Master Roy. However, they already knew of Lord Hector's death. They offered to fight alongside us anyway. Why do they go that far when they are mercenaries? Ilya is a snowy area with a harsh temperature, so the land isn't very arable. Therefore, sending out mercenaries to fight for pay is one of Ilya's main sources of economic input. That can't be tenable long term. I've also heard that mercenaries from Ilya put trust over anything else and that they never betray their employers. Oh, cool. Shelly DeKiller is joining our side. The rumors are true, I see. Then they should be powerful allies. Yes, Fortune is still with us. Master Roy, but... I heard from the mercenary knights that one of the free dragon lords is coming here with a legion of dragon knights. If they should join the rebels, then our chances of defeating them would become extremely slim. Roy, what are you going to do? The kingdom of Etruria might join us. Etruria? Would that be possible? General Cecilia, the sorcery general of Etruria, was my teacher in battle arts while I was studying in Ostia. Well, if she's anything like Pent, she's going to be kicked butt. I have a feeling that she would be joining, willing to join forces with us. I would object, Master Roy. If we depend on Etruria to solve our own matters in Lycia, we'll be sure to be the laughing stock for decades. Yes, I know that, but this is truly an important matter for Lycia. I think that we should go for the safest and most definite option rather than worry about the consequences and do nothing, which would most likely lead to the extinction of Lycia. Master Roy. We have to move quickly. I'll write a letter to General Cecilia. Merlinus, I need you to get the letter to her as quickly as possible. Yes, Master Roy. You are right. I shall send the letter to her as soon as you are ready. Thanks. All right, everybody, let's retake Ostia. All right. We got guys with steel lances and javelins, iron swords, iron bows. Oh, vulnerabilities to steel. Very nice. Healers with physics staves. That's gonna actually be tough. 
Red gems on the Wyv the Dragon Riders, but oh man, they got a lot of attack power. They are going to hit hard. Elf fire! Wow, we are getting some powerful units early on. Okay, well, we got villages to go to, so Sue, you can pay a visit here. This, this is the torch staff. It creates light in the foggiest places. If you're in a fog, you can't attack or see anything. It helps to have this when it works against you. Oh, great. Fog chapter's coming up. I hate that. Alright, that's... Oh my gosh, that is so many villages. I don't think there are any brigands yet, but I'm sure that's... Sure, that's gonna change. Man. Lot is so good. And speaking of so good, let's see a so good level up, right, my man? Okay, you know, you got defense. The more you get defense, the happier I get, Lot. Honestly... Well, hang on. He's level... He's level 11 now! I kind of would expect his stats to be a little bit better at this point. But what do I know? Alright, Lance, you're the one with the Gantz Lance, so... You're gonna go over here and pop that goddess icon. Alan will assist you to give you that support bonus. Um, watch out for the archer, but Thaney, you can at least visit this village. A while back, some unknown person was dying in the street. When I helped him, he gave me this sword. Really strange person, but nice. Hmm? Here's the sword. You can have it. Just take good care of it. Thanks. A killing edge? A second one? Oh, that's great. I love that. All right, Deke. Head on over that way. Rutger, stay close to Clarine. Uh, Ellen, you can kind of hide in this forest. That's fine. Chad. Just keep out of range of these guys and you should be fine. Boars, you're basically indestructible, so I don't really care. And then Roy can kind of be in the middle. Oh, I didn't think that guy could reach Deke. Oh, yes, but this will set up a KO for uh, Thaney. If she can use her javelin. If she can damage the guy. Which, actually, she may not be able to. Oh, no! Mercenary. Oh, also, there's an arena here, which I am definitely not going to use. A, I don't want to grind that much. B, super risky! <laughs> The arena's for chumps, unless you use the Ninny's Grace glitch. Which is a great one. Ah, it's stupid physics staff users! Also, that Wyvern Rider is coming over here. Oh yeah, these two! <laughs> it looks like the Lisi Alliance have started attacking the rebels. Alright, we're going to. Let's go and drive off the rebel forces. Will do, sir! Wait, where's Noah? Um, I think he went to the arena a while ago. He said he's coaching a young girl in the sword arts. That Noah? A coach? That's unusual. Well, no matter. Once he finds out that we're attacking the rebels, he'll catch up to us. Yep. Alright, let's go. Um... Okay, so we have Zeal Zealot. The Lord of Edessa leading the Ilian Mercenary Knights. So he's basically Marcus II, but he's actually better. Oh, he... Actually, those are some pretty decent stats. That's actually pretty good. 13 speed on a pre-promote. Well, I mean, I guess it's not great, but at least for this point in the game, it's great. 11 defense is nice. 10 strength is nice. It's not, like, as good as you're probably going to get on other units, but you know what? With Fire Emblem 6's growth rates, that's actually pretty decent. And then we got Trek, a mercenary knight from Ilya. Um... But he's So he's basically just another Alan and Lance, but Alan and Lance are better because we've been able to train them at this point. Okay. Sure. All right. Thaney, can you kill this guy? Doggone it, Thaney! This would not have happened if you had leveled strength. Just saying. Just saying. Hey, boars. <laughs> At least boars is invincible. <laughs> not really sure why I brought him besides that, but at least he's invincible. Also, gotta keep an eye out for that uh, wyvern. So he will be able to move to where a lot is standing. All right. Let's smash this guy. 
Let's smash this guy. Thank you. <laughs> Take that. Alright. Now here's the problem. I really need to watch out for this Wyvern Rider. But the thing is... <sighs> Alright. I don't want to get put Ward in range of everything. But it would be nice to... P I'm going to put Ward up here. Well, hang on. This guy has 20 attack. That guy has 14 attack. So he'll take 15, 9. Okay, yeah, he'll survive. I'm going to put him up here, but he's not going to attack. Alan is going to pull back here and throw a jab one at this guy. Please kill. Doggone it, Alan! You're ruining... You're ruining the strat. Don't like putting Lance in this much danger, but I think Lance should be okay. He's got a lot of health, and he's got decent defense. Alright. I'll take a strength level up on Lance. That's always nice. I gotta get Roy closer to this side. Hopefully they'll move to the left and not to the right. Because if they move to the right, that would suck. Alright, we're kind of getting overwhelmed by these units. They're all just charging all at once. Gotta make sure I'm out of range of all these guys here. Thaney. Oh, this is perfect! Oh, wait, hang on. So he can damage her 16. And he'll damage her 5. Ugh! That's an exact kill. Yeah, if he hits her twice, she takes 16 damage. And then this guy, I believe, does 5 damage. Yeah, that's a that's an exact kill on Thaney. She's not going to get hit by a 28 twice. Thaney? Oh shoot, that's going to... That 28 is actually going to go up. Because now she is going to have a javelin equipped. Thaney, if you die on me... Maybe he'll... Maybe the soldier will go for Ellen, because she's... Un she's, uh, can't fight back. Probably not. Alright, well... Oh, maybe I can get them to go for Roy. Probably a risky move, going after my main lord, but... Hey, I don't want... Aha! Cool. So Faini's gonna survive. There we go. There we go. This is gonna be fine. Okay. Oh, nice dodge, Lance. Okay, those Wyvern Riders are scary. Wow, they deal so much damage. They also have a lot of defense. Oh no! Do I have to talk? Do I have to talk to both of them, or can I talk to either of them? Uh oh. Trek's in danger. I'm probably not going to use Trek, but I still want him. You know, for my, I need my bench to be nice and toasty warm. Where did all these enemies? Come? I do not think there were this many enemies when I first looked at the map. Okay, Trek's going to the right. That's not great. Looks like they've started attacking the rebels. Well then, Fear, I should be get, uh, get going soon. Is it Fear or Fur? It's probably Fear. Thank you for coaching me, Sir Noah. No problem, but I must say you surprised me. You suddenly came up to me and said, I want to fight a match with you. I'm sorry, Sir Noah. It was my first time in the arena. If you asked another person, you would have been killed. You need to look your opponent over very carefully before choosing to fight. And you must not hesitate to surrender if it looks like you're going to lose. Right? Exactly. You can always win back your money, but if you lose your life, it's all over. 
Thanks for explaining how the arena works. Yes! What are your plans now? Are you going to stay here and work on your sword skills? No, I'm planning to travel to the Western Isles. The Western Isles? Why? They're building a new mine there, and I heard that a lot of people are going there looking for work. They must be strong people if they're miners, so I thought it would be an ideal place to find people to fight for my training. And besides... Besides? The Western Isles is where my mother first met my father. She's dead now, but when she was my age, she was also traveling around the world training her sword skills. Your mother, Carla, is the suckiest unit in Fire Emblem 7, by the way. I see. You surprised me again. All you were saying at first was, I want to become strong. I want to become strong, right? So I thought swordplay was all you had interest in. But you were training because you wanted to be like your mother? I'm so happy to see that you do have a cute side. What? Sir Noah, please don't tease me. <laughs> there she goes. Oh, hey! It's a unit! Cool. Um, that's a lot of units here, though. Oh, Boars. I should have taken Marcus instead of Boars. Oh, big mistake! Please kill. Yes! Slay! Oh. Eat my bow. Okay, strength on Sue. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, this is a large amount of enemies nearby, but that's okay, because we got the power of Deke. Uh, how does Thaney fare against Mr. Mercenary? Of course she fares badly, because she's got four freaking strength. God, I... I don't know if I can keep using Thaney, guys. If she's not... De if she can't deal more than four damage in a single round of combat, she's kind of unusable. Alright, well, at this point, we should talk to, uh, Noah. You're one of the Ilian mercenaries, right? Yeah. And what do you want? My name is Roy. I'm the leader of the VCL Alliance army. Oh, I heard about you. From now on, is it alright if I join with you? Are you sure that's alright? What? Don't you have to ask your commander if it's okay? He told us to join with the VC Alliance army. That's enough for me. But did he mean like this? This is a battlefield. If you take your time to check everything with your commander, then you won't be able to act quickly in trouble. It's not good to disobey orders, but outside of that, you can play it by ear. I see. Thanks for telling me. And here we get Noah! He's also- Wow, he's level 7, but only has those stats. That's not great. Mercenary Knight Familia. Well, at least he comes with equipment. That's cool. Alright. Gotta get rid of these guys quickly. And we have another Killing Edge now, so I don't feel bad about using this one. <laughs> Alright, Rootger! He's Rootger! He's Rootger! And he got the import! stats. <laughs> Although defense is also a pretty important stat as well. You have a javelin equipped. Oh, that's wonderful. I love it. Ugh. Oh, you ain't hitting me with a javelin when I'm in the woods. It just ain't happening. <laughs> wow, boars, you are bad. Oh, yes. Nice job, Alan. Way to just hit that mark for killing him. I love it. Uh, these guys should have this under control. Let's give some let's give some support over on this side. Oh man, I'm only just barely managing to hang in here on normal mode. I shudder to think what hard mode would be like on this level. That uh, could actually be pretty bad. All right. Um, what are your? Ooh, yeah. I don't like where that archer is located right now at all. I can visit these villages a little bit later. Here, Boris, you can visit this village, because you're not doing anything else. Hey, you, look at this great thing I made. It fires arrows much further than a normal bow. It's very useful, right? 
Right, just like I thought. I'll give it to you guys. I want it with someone that knows how to use it. Man, can you imagine just being a villager? Like, I made this bow. It's my life's work. I'll give it to the first guy who visits my village. Even though boars cannot use bows. Alright. I'm a little worried for Trek. Well, actually, hang on. Only... Okay, never mind. Only one guy can actually attack Trek this turn. Never mind. Shoot, moved her too far away. Alright, new plan. We're gonna move Lot down here. And then heal him with Ellen. Meanwhile, Roy needs a heal over here. Like so, and Roy... Kind of... I really need Zealot and Trek to move this way. To the left, and not to the right. Here. We'll have you equip the Iron Lance, see what you're all about, Noah. You're... Wow! Zealot, you're not... I am... I, okay, that is an armor knight, so... I guess it stands to reason why he wouldn't damage that much, but still, that's not very much damage from a pre-promote. Well, they can't move left! Oh, never mind. Yes, they can. Oh, hey! They're attacking Roy! What a... What, how original. <laughs> well, doggone it, they can't move left this turn! It's gonna take me ages to recruit these two guys. Ooh! Blue Cav! You don't often see Blue Cavaliers in, uh... Fire Emblem games, which is weird! Nice job, Trek. No! Zealot, what are you doing? That is not the right way! You're moving dangerously close to that Wyvern Rider. And I don't like it. Okay. Let's Armor Slayer this guy. Nice job, Deke. Alright, level up for Deke. Wonderful. Alright, you got strength. That's good. I like strength on my units. Okay. Depending on how Ward fares against these guys. Sue, how much damage can you deal? Five, potentially. That's cool. Alright, Rutger can set this up. Thaney can kill. Even someone with abysmal strength as Thaney can take out a guy with free HP. At least Thaney has good movement, so she can help visit all these villages. Nice job, Lot. Ooh, axe level increased. I like it very much, it's nice. Heal up Thaney. Because I think that's just something we should be doing. Boar is glad to see you're as relevant as always. Alan's getting some damage, but there's not a whole lot of units over here. I think... Ward is best off fighting this guy. Sue can finish him off. I hope Sue can finish him off. If Sue doesn't finish him off, it's going to be trouble. Sue, it's a 78. Thank you. Alright, and now Alan can go up here and... Honestly, even if I attack that guy, he's just going to get healed up by that... Well, actually, unless I can kill the stupid Physic Bishop. Ooh, 
Absolutely not, Bishop. Heal this. I also have to remember, that guy's a red gem. It would be great to steal that, if at all possible. Rape your time! Rapier actually does help. It's not a great weapon, but it is useful for these early chapters. Alright, Roy. Let's see what you got. Oh my gosh, Roy! That's a really good level up! Thank you! Wow! Alright, alright, Roy's turning out not too bad. I think what I'm going to do with Alan is I'm going to go over here, but just pop a vulnerary. Put him there to protect Sue. Alright. Actually, can we talk? No, I can't talk with Trek, even though they're part of the same mercenary. Sure. Why not? It's not like I wanted that anyways. All right, Noah, come on. You got two chances. Thank you. Take out that stupid physic cleric. Not cleric. Priest. That's very nice. All right. If memory serves, you get reinforcements down here. And knowing Fire Realm 6, they're going to start moving immediately. So I don't like that. Got to keep Roy topped off just in case things go awry. Oh yeah, you got a all range option. What are you doing, Trek? Zealot, you're going to kill yourself. Alright, well, hopefully if we lure in this Wyvern Rider with somebody whose name is not Zealot... Okay, Lance is perfect bait, because Lance is damaged. And he won't hit back nearly as hard as Zealot will, so hopefully the Rider will go after Lance, but Zealot is still probably going to end up killing him, which is very annoying. As for Trek, he seems to have a suicide wish, and he's going after this archer over here. This is obnoxious. Alright, Alan. Nice level up. Let's see what you got. Alright! Strength and defense on a cab. That's very nice. I like that. <laughs> Make your last hand axe count! Oh, yes, a lot. <laughs> that is how you use up a hand axe. <laughs> Can we finish this guy with Sue? Maybe. There's 69 chance. Yeah, we'll take it. Oh, nice, Sue. When the chips are down, I can count on you. All right, let's see your next level up. All right, not great. But hey, you got free things. They're just not great things. It's mend up ward. It's still not going to refill all of his HP, I'm sure. Oh, it did. All right. I underestimated you. I, I just know there's going to be reinforcements coming down here with how open it is. I don't know when, but I know that it will happen. Alright, let's start visiting these villages. Medicine! Medicine! This cures anything! No matter what kind of wounds you have, this will restore you completely! The contents are a secret, though. Can't tell you, or I'll get in trouble. Hmm? You don't want the medicine? Aw, oh, I'll give you some for free if you buy it next time. Elixir! You're selling elixirs? Can I buy that? Those are really good. Alright, Chad, what you got in here? This town used to belong to Lysia, but now look at it. You guys are out to restore Ostia's former glory, right? Then take this gem. If you sell it, it'll catch a high price. Please help Ostia. Hey! Red gem. Oh, shoot. Should have kept Chad close. Nah, this guy's not going to survive enemy phase. Zealot's going to kill him. 
better keep Roy close by just in case Zealot does something stupid. Or actually, can Noah recruit? Oh, Noah can recruit Zealot. Oh! Well, that changes things. Noah, yeah, Noah will totally survive the Dragon Knight. Here we go. General Zealot! Ah, it's Noah. You were at the arena, weren't you? Yes. Sorry I'm late. Doesn't really matter. We've just started fighting. Not really! Everyone's almost dead. I haven't talked to the Lisi Alliance army yet. Oh? Don't worry, I just got done talking to their leader. Really? Then it's time for us to submit to his leadership. Noah, I leave the negotiations of the Lisi Alliance to you. Yes, sir. Aw, oh, yeah. We'll keep you here. Zealot. Talk to Roy. Excuse me, sir. Are you Sir Zealot of the Ilya Mercenary Knights? And you are... My name is Roy. I'm the leader of the army that's fighting the rebels. You? Impressive. I was expecting somebody a little older. <laughs> General Grievous. You're shorter than I expected. <laughs> I am here rep respecting the will of Lord Hector. Lord Hector. We've lost a valuable person. He was a true warrior. Yes, and I want to retake Ostia for Lord Hector's sake. And Melina's sake. All right, then we'll help you as much as we can. Thank you for your assistance. You can thank me after we've retaken the castle. Come, we must concentrate on the enemy right now. Yes! But stupid old Trek is still off farting around on his own. <sighs> Gosh darn it, Trek. All right, I expected you to go for Lance. Aw, oh, Lance doesn't even care. We just gotta take this guy out right now. Do we have people nearby who can't? Well, we got Zealot at the very least. Trek, so help me if you don't run away to heal. Thank you. Oh, hey, I bet Zealot can talk to him. Yay, finally. Trek, we are now going into the Lysiola Army's service. Okay, sir. Hmm? Not the most enthusiastic response. You don't like the idea? Eh? No, I have no problem with it. Oh, alright. Just thought I'd ask. Lysia. Nah, we shouldn't have much trouble. Trek looks weird. But here he is. Mercenary Knight from Ilya. He's got eight defense. I guess that's alright. Barely better than anyone else, though. Alright. Gotta turn on animations for Trek and Zealot, even though we're probably not gonna use either of them. Do 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 do. Visit the village. You again? You were in another village. Social knights, paladins, nomads, all those guys riding on horses. This spear, the Night Killer, is effective against them. There's a lot of horsemen in the rebel army, so use this against them. That's not a Night Killer, that's a Horse Slayer, you loon. And that's not a very good weapon, at least in Fire Emblem 7. Why does it still have that much weight? The Horse Slayer should not have that much weight. But at the very least, if it does triple effective damage, it should be a lot better in this. Do, 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 do. You have a steel bow. Yeah, I don't like that. Alright, we just have two villages left, and the archer's sitting his butt on one of them. Beautiful. Out of range again. Okay, who do we have nearby? Oh, hey, Lot's nearby. Oh, hey, Sue's nearby. Ha ha. Gotta try for the one-hit kill. Oh, Sue! Oh, this is great. She's just taking down the dragons like... She don't even care. I know I didn't steal the red gem, but that's okay. Oh, hey, there are two chests up there. Oh, we gotta get... We gotta get Chad up there real fast. Actually, okay, so Chad can move one, two, three, four, five, six. So he can actually move up here. So we're gonna move Lance right there. He can move, and Lance can immediately start taking him up. Which is good. All right, Alan, what's at this shop? Okay. Oh, wow, we got a lot of gold. Um, chest key could be nice, actually, but I don't think we need it. We got a thief. All right, let's get two men staves and, like, three or four heal staves. And that should be fine. Shopping spree, shopping spree, da 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 I just know there are going to be reinforcements at the bottom, so I'm already preparing for that. And I bet you they move right away. Oh, hey! Looks like somebody needs healing. 
Alright, Ellen, good to have you back. Alright, a very Ellen level up. Actually, that's above average for Ellen. Still, she's nice girl. She is by far the best personality out of all the healers, so I'm using her. Alright, Noah, let's go to this armory. Alright. <laughs> that guy's just like, hey, what do you want here? Okay, we need an iron axe for lot. We need an iron axe for ward. I'll get another steel axe, even though they suck. I'll get two hand axes. Alright, as for swords, we need one for Lance. Get another one for Alan. Get another one for Rutger. Get another one just in case. And we'll get a steel sword, why not? I'm not buying the slimmer iron blades, though. And then this other shop should have bows, which we don't really need, and then lances, which we actually probably do need a, a couple. I'd rather overbuy than underbuy, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Meanwhile, Devious is up there just like, Well, I don't see anything, so that probably is good news. <laughs> Alright, let's see Trek in action. He looks exactly like Noah. Except his hair is a different color. They're just getting lazy now. That's a lot of the XP for Trek. What level is he? He's only a level 4? Oh, dang. He's actually a fairly low level, so he's got he's a low level with those stats. His stats are basically the same as Noah's, but he's several levels lower, so Noah kind of sucks. That's what I'm getting out of this anyways. Alright. Move you. Rescue. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh my gosh. This is even better than I thought. <laughs> oh, rescue chains. Those are fun. We'll move... Deke over this direction, for, in case the enemies start popping up. We're going to move Zealot over here, again, in case the enemies start popping up. There we go. Move Alan down. Or I'll we'll move him over here. Alan can top him off. Oh, that's beautiful. That's a lot of reinforcements! Do any of them have keys? Or are they going to head straight over towards where Chad is? None of them have keys! Alright, Chad, fend for yourself. <laughs> Alright, we'll get some backup up here. Alan and Lance. I still want some units down here in order to deal with... Potential reinforcements happening there. So I'll leave uh, Zealot. Because I'm sure he'll be needed. And I'll leave Clarine as well. Clarine, Rutger, Bors, Sue, Roy, and Zealot can stay down here. Along with Deke and Thaney. Everyone else is going to go up. Are you going to help Lady Lelina? Here's something that can cure injuries from a distance. Yes, the physics staff. If Lady Lelina's hurt, please help her. Yes! Physic Staff! Physic Staff is so good. Uh, be careful! General Legions is allied with Bird now! He went and slaughtered all those who resisted him! But I saved my own hide! Please take this, it's proof for heroes! Give this to them and keep fighting to protect Ostia! <gasps> Hero Crest! Hero Crest! Oh man! We could early promote someone if we wanted. We could early promote Deke! Not actually a bad idea! He has great offensive powers, and his, his level-ups haven't been great, so he might not get a lot. Also, we could level up a lot. I don't... I feel like Lot needs to get some more level-ups before I would promote him, though. But early promoting on Deke might actually be a decent idea. I normally hate early promoting. But this might be an exception. Okay. <laughs> We're sending, like, literally all the... It's like, four Cavaliers! Kill them all! Oh, and the two fighters. Everybody else? Nah. <laughs> Let's send Zealot to the... Ear. No, we're not doing that. That's suicide. I'll send Thaney up... Well, it's probably a dumb idea of all those archers, but... Anyway, if we can kill them with the calves, that'll be nice. 
guess we could also use the door key and open up that door, but no, I don't want to. I'll keep Sue around here. She can move if needed. I know stuff's gonna spawn down there. I, I just have a gut feeling that that's gonna go that way. That is a lot of Cavaliers. That's way too many Cavaliers. If you take more than two Cavaliers on a given level, well, you might want to diversify your portfolio, so to speak. Alright, Trek, you've got a, a Javelin, so... You can go up here, equip that, pop a Vulnerary, just to make sure you're topped off. I know you only were losing 4 HP, but you know what? I don't trust you. Oh, wait a second. We could potentially pull some of these archers with Sue. I don't want to pull more than one archer, though. Mm. Yeah, that's the tricky part. I want to pull just one archer, not, like, all of them. So I'll do this. Oh, man. All, a lot of javelins, too. I'll pull one of them guy. One of the guys. That way it'll make it a little easier on all my cabs. That way, Ellen. Make sure we got a healer on the top and a healer on the bottom. Alright. Probably should have had more than these losers down here, but... No, I don't care. We can always make a strategic retreat. I don't like that 2% crit! Alright, nice job, Trek. You held them off. Uh-oh. The reinforcements should be arriving from the south soon. I knew it! <laughs> that VC army will be shocked when they get hit from behind. Thanks for blurting that out loud. I actually do appreciate that. Alright. Well. Ooh! Sue can one round. That might have been a mistake, but she's not going to one round everything. That actually may have been a big trap. I probably should not have done that, in hindsight. Wow, Sue, that is like the suckiest level up you can get. Well, we got an army of cabs, so... Seventy-four percent chance for each. Do we have a more reliable option? As long as we place a cav over where this guy... Darn it! Eat stupid thing! You can't do anything! You were so bad. Guess we could have Chad get the KO. I don't like that low percentage crit, though. I want to get a reliable hit. Thank you, because I really hate that small crit percent chance, and Thunder deals a lot of damage. Alright, there we go. Now we can have Lance, the man of the hour. <laughs> okay, does this guy have... No, he just has a Steel Lance. Okay. Noah, can you one-round anything? You can almost... Oh, wait! Yes, you can one-round the archer. Cool. Um... Hmm. How much damage would this get? 11 damage is a lot. 12 damage is a lot. Ugh. This is kind of scary. I also can't really use Trek this turn. What, where would Lance be most helpful? Lance should take out this guy. I am a little worried about Sue. If if every single unit attacks Sue, actually, oh, no, I'm not. I'm not worried about Sue. <laughs> Ah. 
Yeah, okay, that make that gives me a bit of a sigh of relief. Alright, Noah. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna trade, make sure he has the lance equipped. Noah might die, but if mm, I don't want Noah to die, actually. I don't want anyone to die, but... Uh, <laughs> Here's a question. Can I trade him his lance? Aha! Beautiful. Okay, that's good. That'll give him some extra safety. And you can start opening up these chests. Another rapier. Interesting. Oh, also Thaney's now free. Okay, I don't like how much attack all of these guys have. One of my guys may well die from this. But if Thaney goes up, she's definitely dying. Alright! I hope everyone lives! Okay, cool. With that, I actually think everyone might be safe. Actually, if Noah gets hit by everything... No, I think everyone's safe now. I guess if, if both of the other guys all go for Alan and he defeats them all... Nope. Okay, everyone's safe. Sweet. Wow, they were... I can't believe the enemy was that stupid for this turn. If I were the enemies, I would have gone for the Steel Lances to try and get rid of everybody. Alright, four calves. We got Steel Lance, Steel Lance, Silver Lance! Okay, that's a problem. Why are all these Lance users coming? Well, it's a good thing that Lot and Ward didn't go too far. We gotta get you guys out of here, though. Uh, Zealot. If only Zealot had an axe. Alright, Chad, you can open that other chest. Ooh, Barrier Staff. That's very nice, actually. I like that. Sue, so, let's see what you can do against... How much damage can Thaney do? Eight. So we need to damage 12. Not enough! Thaney, you are the absolute worst Pegasus Knight I've ever seen. You're so bad. You are so bad. Alright, well, let's deal with... Javelin Boys. Good lord. People say that Thaney is good? How? She can't deal damage. And this is on normal mode. That's a good level up, Lance. This is normal mode. On hard mode, the enemies have higher stats. There's no way Thaney would be able to do anything. Oh, it's a perfect kill. But before I do that, I'm going to heal him up. Just in case fiends go awry. Nice job, Trek. Oh, hey, you know, maybe I'll use Trek. Kind of depends on how his first level goes. If I even give him that chance. I'm only using... I'm not using more than two cats, though. No, no way, no how. We can defeat him, one way or another. Wonderful. Now, normally I'd give this kill to Thaney, but honestly, I'm kind of sick of Thaney at this point. It's, well, she is one of No, Sue deserves it more. If Sue misses, you can have the kill fa- Haha, <laughs> Sue don't miss. Well, actually, Sue missed many 78s in a row, but Sue's going to be harder to level up, because she don't have an enemy phase, really. Alright, home. Okay, you got 15 attack, you got 25 attack, 16, 16. Eh, Boris, you're not nah, your mincemeat if you stay there. Well, 
We need to get Roy up towards the throne room. And I know just the fiend to help him. I'm surprised we didn't get four more horses, to be perfectly honest. Steel Ant, Steel Ant, Silver Dance. Okay, Jared, how do you... Or Jared, that's his other name. How does Zealot fare? I kind of wipes the floor with them. I like that. But I want my Axe Bros down there to give back up as well. Ward, you can be there. Lot, you can be here. I'll equip the Halberd on Lot to help him out. And then Zealot can be here for backup. I guess Boars can be here for backup as well. Really bad backup. And I'm going to keep Thaney close in case we need to do some emergency rescuing. Okay. Alan, you fought like a champ. You deserve a mend. there one two three four oh sweet cool well we're also gonna need our axe bros up there as well to help deal with the boss because there ain't no way Roy's taking the boss on um, all by himself oh you fool oh you have been owned a lot <laughs> get it why are you attacking Zealot? Zealot has the exact same coloration as Isadora, except he's a lot better. <laughs> because he has a lot more... <laughs> Isadora, like, you breathe on her and she dies, and she's a frontline fighter unit. Zealot, why are you attacking Zealot? Why? He's a promoted paladin. This just doesn't make sense. Thank you for missing, Zealot. This allows you to give... Zealot gives, gets more EXP from just hurting a unit than he does from actually, like, killing them. Ooh. Is that all you got? Alright, Sue. Finish him. FINISH HIM! Alright, Sue. Get a better level up than last time. Okay, that's a better level than last time. Speed is always appreciated. Hmm. Boars weaken him. Not sure if that's actually enough to weaken him to the point that Ward can finish him. I could, I could give Ward the halberd, but he's just probably going to miss if I do that. Or I could just finish him with Lot. Oh no! Steel Axe! Nice job, Ward! I can't believe I'm using both the Fighter Bros. Normally I hate fighters, but they're actually both very useful in this. At least, from what I've seen thus far. Alright, Lot. We need to get Lot up to the top. Well, that was easy. Beautiful. Who needs to top off? Lance, you need to top off. Do 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 do. All right. You know what? Marcus seems like he's bad, but Zealot actually could be a useful addition to the cast. I can get down with this. Uh, Sue, you need a heal. One heal. Trek has a weird face. That might be rude to say, but it's the truth. Also, my man Wade needs to get up here as well. Okay, you know what? I'm starting to see... 
how useful it is to have a bunch of mounted units. I'm actually starting to see that. All right, hammer. All right, not that's a very low hit rate, but we're gonna try it. It's our best bet. You, you beat Burns Dragon Knights? No, uh, I'll not let you pass here. Yeah, I expected that to miss. All right, devious. I'm kind of glad. You know, I'm kind of glad I haven't used the Angelic Robe yet, because I still have that in my stock, and I'm like, I'll probably use it on Thaney. If Thaney... Okay, I will give Thaney two more level-ups. If she doesn't level Strength even once in those next two level-ups, she is benched. I, I make this solemn vow. Because, good lord, I cannot deal with a unit that only has four Strength and four Con. If she had a high amount of Con, I could work with it. But she has four Strength, four Con. It doesn't work. And she uses Lances, which aren't exactly light. So, yeah, that's, that's not tenable long-term. We should get Deke up here. He's got an Armor Slayer. <laughs> oh, poor Boars. He's oh, Boars is injured. We need to heal him. Get every last dro drop of that sweet, sweet EXP. Yeah, I, I anticipate this going on for a while. How does Deke fare with that Armor Slayer? Oh, wow! I hate that 1% crit on him. I really hate that. But he actually does one round devious, potentially. Something to consider. I'll let Lot have his fun for a bit more. Maybe if I can get that Ruger support, and maybe it'll give me some crit avoid. I hate... That 1% crit frightens me probably more than it should. How does uh, Rutger fare with the killing it? Well, oh, here's a question. How does Rutger fare with the uh, Armor Slayer? Rutger has 7 con, which is not enough to use the Armor Slayer properly, but hey, I think... No, Rutger is also going to face a, a crit chance. Wonderful. All right, well, let's just continue this for a bit. Hammer time! Alright, Ruker, how do you fare with the Armor Slayer? Pretty well. I don't like that crit rate still. Here, you can have that back. <laughs> I'll hit eventually! <laughs> Oh my. No, the wrong person. Okay. Deke, give me the elixirs, give me the physics staff. <laughs> We're gonna see if Deke can uh, finish the job. If he if he dies, then you know what? If he dies, it was meant to be. Alright, nice job, Deke. heal him up. It actually really won't matter in the long run, but... Alright. Alright, will he attack Deke, or is he going to attack um, Lot? He's attacking Deke. Cause it's because of that 1% crit. That's why he's doing it. All right, nice job, Deke. General Allegiance, please be careful. These people are strong. 
Man, the effective weapons in this are actually really good! <laughs> Who would have thunk it? Alright. Well, yes, yes, well done, Sliverin, well done, Sliverin. <laughs> so how many fair more reinforcements that come, I'm going to lose it. It should be... Okay, cool. Only other person that we have to heal is Ellen herself. Wonderful. Let's get that Thaney Deke support building as well. Just wait a couple of turns to build up those support points. Well, I don't think there are more reinforcements coming, which is good. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Alright, let's see if we've built any. Rutger has nothing. Alan can support Lance again. Cool. Let's get that. Alan, the battles will only get tougher from now on. Yes, but it's just what I want. Alan, I need to tell you something. It's about when we lose. When we lose? Right. If it looks like defeat would be certain, you take Master Roy and retreat. I will act as a decoy for the enemy and buy time for you. What? But then you would be in danger. Someone has to do it. Then it might as well be me who has been in Thoray the shortest. Don't be ridiculous! Alan, if you're staying, then I will as well. I won't allow you to go off alone and commit suicide. But you're one of a long line of knights serving in the Foray family. So you should take Master Roy and flee. How long you've served means nothing. Then let me ask you this. Has your loyalty been less than the other knights? Can't say it yourself? Then I'll answer for you. You're working just as hard as anybody. You've been as loyal as any of the other knights. I know that best because I've been your partner ever since you came to Foray. Alan. Don't do anything stupid, Lance. You're a necessary person to both us and to Master Roy. It's very true. It's best character. Oh, that was a nice support. Nothing. Alright. Let's just seize the throne and get ourselves out of here. Okay, the city should be under control by now. Now we have to recapture Castle Ostia and rescue Lelina. Master Roy, we are currently breaking down the gate to enter the castle. I understand that you want to get in quickly, but we're working as fast as we can, so please be patient. Lelina. Speaking of Lady Lelina, what do you think of Lord Hector's story, Master Roy? Do you mean about the dragons? They weren't myth. They were real. Lord Hector is one of the greatest battle tacticians in Lycia, and his army was decimated in such a short time. Well, Burn's army is among the strongest in Alib. I say, those Dragon Knights are indeed very formidable opponents. Of course, the Dragon Knights must have been tough enemies. But the real dragons? I can't even imagine how powerful they must be. I've seen it in Fire Emblem 7. They... Regular old... <laughs> Fire Emblem 7, final boss, is a regular old, not even like a super special strength, just regular old Fire Dragon who has been severely weakened, and he's like the toughest final boss in the whole series. The weapons that are effective against dragons. I wonder where they are. I presume they must be the Divine Weapons. So if we use those weapons, we can fight the dragons effectively. But I wonder what a divine weapon is doing in Ostia. Perhaps Lady Valina knows that. Hmm, I do wish to know as well. Oh! Master Roy, our men have finished knocking down the gate. We can enter now. Alright. CHARGE! We will rescue Lelina, no matter what. Alright, well that was fun. We're gonna end the stream there. Thank you everybody for joining in. Two chapters down? Th those were a good ones. Well, okay, that last chapter was pretty good. The green units worried me for a while, but that was actually good, that you got advanced warning on the reinforcements. The chapter before that with Wagner was really stupid with all the reinforcement spawns, but hey, we got through unscathed. Nobody died. I can't believe it. I definitely feel like we should have lost somebody on chapter 6, but we didn't. We're still in it to win it, baby. Still no deaths that we've saved through. I'll be continuing this on Wednesday, again, starting at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It looks like these streams will probably start going to for two hours instead of an hour and a half, or almost two and a half hours right here. Wow, yeah, the chapters are getting long. So thank you all for joining in. This was tons of fun. I look forward to next time. We'll be going to Chapter 8, Reunion. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great rest of your night, and God bless.